My nose is still a little messed up, but it's Monday and this is freaking awesome! So I am not 100% better. I do feel a lot better today, especially because of yesterday since I wasn't able to really, I wasn't really feeling like making a video or doing anything. So I actually got time to, uh, you know, organize and straighten out this room and you guys can't see it, but it looks, it looks a lot better. Just, it wasn't like, I mean, it was, it was getting kind of bad. It's, it's, it's better now. Uh, but, um, uh, there's some things I need to talk to you guys about because, um, uh, not only do I still have these cards you guys have seen, um, I, I, I got these back in the mail a couple months ago. I pretty much much given up on trying to get these back to their owner um i got these back in the mail i signed them for somebody um and i'm trying i've been trying to you know i've been you know it, uh, showing these uh, cards on camera trying to get them back to the owner but um if you guys know who whose cards these are um please please um you know message me or um uh, you know on facebook or if these are if those are your cards please message me on facebook with your address same thing if these are your cards <laughs> something got mixed up with your address as well um these are there's actually a couple cards in each um there's a heartland Draco, a Buster Blader, um, this there's so there's a red eyes black dragon and then um, and the and then uh, what's what's the other one um, there's another card in this one uh, blue eyes so red eyes blue eyes Buster Blader and a Heartland Draco if these are your cards please 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 uh, message me on Facebook with your address so I can get these back to you and um, and that's gonna that's gonna be what I'm gonna emphasize again today guys if you are sending me cards to sign uh, be sure that uh, you stamp and address your own envelope in with your cards um, you know, the, the, very, very important here. Stamp and address your own envelope, like like with your handwriting that's that's written correctly, so that you know I can just drop the cards in there, and we're and I'm 100% sure with confidence when I mail the cards back, they actually get there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because you wrote your own address down, um, and and that's and that's what I'm going to emphasize. Uh, please, if you guys want me to sign cards and send them back to you, uh, stamp and address your own envelope, and that's that's uh, that's going to be uh, the the I guess the lesson for today. Um, but outside of that, for the normal spiel, if you want to send me your fan. No, the P.O. Box is 1391 Owasso, Oklahoma, 74055. And as for last week's giveaway as well, I was giving away th these six cards from last week's fan mail, and the winner is going to be Rocky Lee Batterson. So please message me with your address so that I can uh, go ahead and get uh, get you your prizes. Um, so now, um, with all that out of the way, um, you know, the uh, so the return cards, the giveaway, um, you know, the P.O. Box, I think I said it all. So uh, let's get into opening all this mail. I'm super excited. And let's start off from... From Wyatt so this one is from Wyatt straight and uh, let's see uh, what he has to say this one's actually really easy to open there's like nothing on this side of the envelope like at all like everything's over on one side and there's some cards lots of cards and then oh sweet so a uh, return envelope so um, a second ago looks like this one is done right yes it is so I'm going to cover up this address um, so if you are sending me like a couple cards to sign like this uh, just an envelope you know he has this address under my hand uh, you know he wrote down his own address and then he, he stamped the envelope and that is that's all I need that is exactly all I need and um, yeah, I'll send your cards back all I will say though is that if you are sending like you know a whole deck of cards or something to sign uh, please uh, you know ship like you know um, tracking like something with tracking on it so that I can you know ship back uh, with with you know that way uh, but oh, I'm not supposed to look at those so <laughs> let's see let's see um, what this says all right hey you you know no I, I am a very oh gosh this one this was kind of hard to read I am very excited to write you I would like it if you sign the card in the blue sleeve and keep the other. Watching your videos inspired me to play Yu-Gi-Oh! And now I am a fluffle fanatic. I have no locals where I live, so I tried to get some friends into it. I finally got my brother into it, and we complete <laughs> we compete semi-competitively with each other. But anyways, I love your vids and would appreciate it if you uh, wrote back. You are one of the uh, only you you YouTubers I can write to, so thanks for reading. I hope you enjoyed the card. Sincerely, one of my... One one of many big, uh, many, uh, one, sincerely, one of many big fans. I can't even speak today. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, P.S. If it was too much to ask, just tell me. But uh, could you buzz Sam Cox about another Fluffle Deck performance? He actually just went on tour today. I'm not even kidding. Uh, Sam is off on tour. I will not see him for like months <laughs> so um I, i'm sorry but like if you would have messaged me like a week ago if i would have got this a week ago absolutely but sam literally left for tour today like with this band so i i actually uh i, I, I he's gonna be really really busy i can message him but i'm just i'm just uh, he's really really busy and i know he's not even gonna message back pps hope you have an awesome day i hope you do too ppps my fluffle deck is on the back so tell me what you think well i mean i'm not the fluffle experts i mean i've seen uh, sam play the deck so many times i mean 
mean, you got three dog, two bear. That is the right. Uh, yeah, two bear, two wings is the right ratio. Two penguins, the right ratio. One owl, one. I think uh, Sam cut cat. Uh, one sheep. Yeah, he doesn't play uh, cat or sheep. I can tell you right now. Um, I can see that you weren't playing the Brilliant engine. The Brilliant's too good in Fluffles. Um, right now, I can kind of, for the most part, it looks like you have it like uh, pretty much like Sam's. Uh, but I will say that uh, he he would tell you to play the Brilliant engine. I think outside of that, just looking at this, uh, that's that might be the biggest change you would have you make to the main. And then the extra deck. Uh, uh, the extra deck, I mean, uh, more more Xyz. The, X, the yeah, the extra deck me needs more Xyz for like you know like Castell and stuff to get rid of uh, to get rid of uh, problems and all that stuff. And uh, you need more like extenders. But like, I mean, for the most part, I think you I think you got it got it on point. Um, I have several uh, you know deck profiles from Sam, you know, from different tournaments and stuff. So uh, feel free to look at those. But dude, I will absolutely sign your fright for Wolf. Thank you so much, dude. Call the haunted sweet soul charge is also a really good card. Keeper of the shrine. Wasn't this like dragon support? Yeah, I thought it was dragon support. Dude, thank you so much for these cards. I'll be sure to sign this and get it right back to you. Um, thank you so so much. I'm, I'm sorry I couldn't be of more, you know, of more help, uh, you know, for your deck and all that. But you know, Sam is Sam's the fluffle expert. And um, sadly, right now, you know, since he is on tour and stuff, and I can't, you know, just message him, you know, or you know, get him, get him here or anything like that. Uh, you, you're kind of like, you know, just left with the deck profiles, taking notes from his deck profiles and stuff. I have several on the channel. I have several on the team channel. You know, all that stuff. I mean, just Google, you know, look up in YouTube, Sam Cox Fluffle. You'll find like a whole page of awesome deck profiles and top deck pro profiles from tournaments at that that you can look through and, and copy down and all that stuff he, he is like crazy with fluffles he is he's has been an, on a whole other level with that deck for years it's nuts but uh, dude thank you so much again for for writing i'll be sure to get this back to you thank you so much this next one is from a cameron so from cameron and that came open really easy and my hair's getting all over because it it's sticky <laughs> but um oh so that is a it is just a blank envelope and then uh, some cards and a letter, lots of cards. Wow. Okay, so let's see. Let's see what this says. What is this? Yeah. Hey, Yugi Nono, my name is Cameron. My username on YouTube is uh, Dictator Heartless. I've been watching uh, your channel for a good while now, and I've come to really like your content. Your videos about the older formats like Goat and Dad were interesting and informative, and your skits are funny. I hope you continue to make incredible content like those in the near future. Um, I actually have the um, the Dragon Ruler one planned, the uh, Introduction to Dragon Ruler format uh, video planned. It's, it's on the to-do list. It's really high on the to-do list because I've been really wanting to do it. It's just that I uh, haven't had time to do um, all the research that it takes to to make that video and keep it really really accurate uh, you know for the format and stuff because uh, I mean it's been years since Dragon Roller format I, I can't remember every single you know little tiny thing so I just haven't had the time to do the research and you know and uh, fully you know refresh my memory to make the video but um, it's on it's it's gonna be on one of the um, you know on, it's gonna be put up one of these Sundays it's gonna be really really good uh, I want to share with you a story if you don't mind I don't mind if currently uh, attending well, I'm currently attending my um, last semester of college, uh, but before I came back, I went on a trip with a friend to New Jersey to attend a Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, YCQ National Qualifiers. This was the first one I was going to partake in, and I was excited but also nervous. The deck I decided to use was Pendulum Magicians, which I've played since May of 2017. I wanted to go with Odd Eyes instead, but I wanted to play it safe. The event was packed with nearly over 400 people there. My first rounds were up against uh, a Trickstar player, a Wind Witch player, and a a mirror match with a Pendulum Magician player, which was probably my best match that day. I didn't win against them, but I had fun playing. I love those matches. Like, sometimes I'll have, like, a match that's just, like, so good, like, I don't even care if I lose. Like, it was just, like, that well played on both parts. And those were, like, some of the best matches, actually. Uh, but, um, unfortunately, I couldn't proceed to the fourth round because I discovered that my deck had suddenly gone miss. Oh, no! I looked all over for even retracing my steps of where I went after I finished my third round, but I couldn't find it. I assumed it was stolen, as I knew it was, uh somewhat common for people's decks and other belongings to get stolen during these kinds of events, but I didn't think it would happen to me. I was uh, pretty down after realizing it had gone missing, but worse because of my extra deck, which was which had a slight a misprint of Beals of the Diabolic Dragons. The golden sticker on the bottom right corner was misprinted, placed inside the effect box. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, what, it sucks that you lost it, but that's a pretty cool <laughs> misprint. I'm sorry. But but th that, uh, that a college friend um, gave me before graduating, all that stuff sucks. The irony of, of this um, entire situation was that before I dis uh, discovered my deck was missing, I purchased a victory dragon from a kiosk at the event for good luck. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling a lot better as of now, but it still sucks that it did happen. Just a useful note to anyone watching or hearing this who might 
want to attend one of these events for their first time, keep a good eye on your stuff. Yes, never let it out of your sights. Santa has had his stuff stolen twice now, guys. He had a deck stolen once. The second time he had his stuff st stolen, someone ran off with his whole bag, like his whole bag with everything, binders, everything in it, and it, it was crazy. And uh, um, I don't know, I don't know why that is. I mean, I like, knock on knock on wood, uh, but um, I haven't I haven't had anything stolen from me. Um, the only time someone's stolen a Yu-Gi-Oh card from me, um, I told I. I told his friends that I was gonna kick his teeth in and he hasn't been back to our local since so <laughs> let's, put, let's put it that way I'm, I'm pretty big and hairy and scary so no one really no one really takes stuff from me I'm really sorry I hear like all these stories that this happens guys and it, it's sad I mean I, I don't condone violence but at the same time though like if someone you, you gotta kick someone's ass if they take your stuff I mean because they're they're it's, it's just not right it's not right they're thieves are people that can't do anything on their own merit so they have to take someone else's stuff that's how useless they are as people it's like I hate thieves and it's it's really sad they all deserve ass weapons okay once again I don't condone violence but they they do need an ass weapon every single one <laughs> they, they, they're literally asking for it taking people's stuff <laughs> you know but um, I'm really sorry that that happened to you um, and I, I'm sorry I, I feel bad every time I hear that is terrible because I, I can't even imagine because you guys I mean if I had my stuff stolen right now I'd probably cry I probably wouldn't I would, I'd be too upset to even kick kick anyone's ass because like I mean I have like you know signed stuff and like you know just really cool stuff from like you know my fans and everything and I, I don't know I, I would like I would lose it if I lost if I if someone took all of my stuff I don't know what I'd do I would either be so mad that that person would be in the hospital when I, when I caught them or I, or I wouldn't do anything I'll just be really really down it just depends on my mood and the day and stuff um anyway I I sent you some cards in two sleeves. Uh, one of them has cards that I love. If you could sign, Victory Dragon is amongst them, and as I still love that card, and it has a uh, and it has a collection of cards I picked up, uh, all part of a theme, and I'm still trying to compete. And the last two are my uh, very very monst uh, very are my favorite monsters of the entire Yu-Gi-Oh! franchise. The other one has cards for you to keep. Some of the cards I gave you might not be in the best conditions and I apologize for that. No, you don't need to give me anything, dude. Uh, keep up the good work, Yu-Gi Jesus. Sincerely, Cameron Dumont. That was a good letter. Uh, thank you so much for writing. Um, I will absolutely sign all these for you. Let's see what you're saying. Hey, there's the stamp. Sweet. Okay, so um, Victory Dragon, the uh, Supremacy Sun, the, uh, the Tripper Mercury, uh, Splendid Venus, uh, Elemental Hero, Terra Firma, uh, the Blazing Mars, the Guard Jupiter, the Despair Uranus, the Tyrant Neptune, the Suppression Pluto, Zoa, Relinquished, Thousand Eyes Restrict. Very, very cool. Uh, some of my favorite monsters there at the end. Uh, then we have, oh, that ult, two, three, Ultimate Rare Blue Eyes. Um, uh, the Elite, oh, wow, Goblin Elite Attack Force. What? Zero the Mant, Cyber and Dragon, Blue Eyes, Ultimate Dragon, Evolution Burst, Monster of board 2002 format stuff goat stuff judgment dragon mirror force eradicator and some petite mods dude that is awesome i'm actually uh, speaking of petite mods um one second while while we're on the subject so i actually did work on this binder so of course i got another bandai a great moth uh, that i put in here uh, last week but um also um i so what i did um so the um the actual larvae moth binder okay if you guys have been paying attention i've been putting the other larvae moths underneath because like uh th there's 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 no more room in the binder you know i mean the, the binder's filled up with larvae moths yet yeah, like, there's no other way to put them in there except for to put them under you know underneath the other cards so what i decided to do with this binder was not to do that um so what i did is i undid what i did with the larvae moth binder i took out all the uh, doubles and triples of larvae moth and put them in the back of this binder so, uh, speaking of sam before he left he gave me that as a contribution <laughs> to the uh, larvae moth binder but um so i started to uh, fill up this uh, the secondary uh, moth binder um with uh, larvae moths how we had the original one so in other words guys the uh, our other larvae moth binder the official larvae moth binder is you know still 100 larvae moths but all the uh, duplicates uh you know all the extras are being put into uh, into this binder and then um all the uh, extra you know petite moths and everything that you guys sent me will also be put into the like this binder i guess it would be like the the larvae moth overflow binder um, essentially um, and uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much uh, that's pretty much the update on that. Uh, but dude, um, I'm pretty sure I actually have a spare Beals for you, um, uh, Cameron. Um, since uh, since you got your Beals stolen and it was a it was a misprint Beals, if I can find wherever, like I said, I'm in the middle of reorganizing, you know, like earlier. If I could find my Beals, uh, I'll I'll send you I'll send you a Beals. I'm really sorry that that happened to you. Um, I hope that um, you got. I mean, if I if I don't find it, I hope at the very least you find you know another another Beals so that's a really good card
card. It's one of my, it's, it's actually a pretty nostalgic card for me because, uh, you know, me and Jason used to play that card, you know, when we first got back into Yu-Gi-Oh, like, you know, years and years ago. And it's a pretty nostalgic card for me. And uh, I just, uh, I, hope that, I hope that I find it. If I do, I'll, I'll send, you, send it to you and I hope that you enjoy it and stuff. I'm really sorry to hear that your stuff got stolen. It's, it's terrible every time it happens. Thank you so much for the cards that you sent me. Um, and I'll be sure to sign all these, including your, your premature victory <laughs> dragon. Um, I'll be sure to sign this and, uh, and get it all back to you. Thank you so much for sending. Thank you so much for your story. All right, so moving on here, we have something from no one. <laughs> There's no name on this one, so uh, let's see what this one is. So he sent me his return address on a thing. This is also fine, because this is this is legible enough, but um, I, I seriously prefer you guys to, uh, you know, write your own addresses, but this is legible enough, and he sent, so, you know, he sent a, a stamp. That's just fine. Let's see what this says, though. This is, whoa, well, there's cards. Okay, <laughs> there's a plot here. Okay, so dear Yugi, no, no. I know it's been a while since I, uh, since I last wrote to you. Yeah, I thought I recognized your name, Morgan Bot Boyer. Yeah. What do you think is going to be the next meta deck? I found your funny short, short of today's meta very funny. Like, why is everything written like slanted? Like it just slants down. <laughs> It's okay though, but um, so the next meta deck though, I I, 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 I kind of said that in videos last week, but I think I think it's gonna be uh, I think magicians are gonna kind of rise up and be like really really good after Electromite, but um, uh, that's how I feel about it. Um, I know let's see, this see this is kind of hard to read because everything's slanted, but um. Um, I, I lost a trick. Uh, so today's meta very funny. I'm very I very recently I lost very recently I lost a trick star I was playing uh, on one of my favorites. Uh, well, I was playing one of my favorite decks noble knights in a Yu-Gi-Oh tournament second round I played cyber dragons. It was fun. Uh, my opponent striked my Nova and since I ran cyber and I got that out <laughs> Get that out in one turn for it. People are still are people still trying to freaking strike and wording that. That's so funny. So uh, because of that one turn four on round two of the match, I think your your version of Cyber Dragons is the best version. I find your idea of cosmic compasses in the deck very cool. Um, that was actually not my idea. I had like uh, embarrassingly enough of all of the machine cards that I've ever looked up for Cyber Dragons ever, and it's you know as many cards I keep in my head for like you know secret text and stuff for whatever format for that deck. I never thought of Cosmic Compass ever, <laughs> like, and that was not me. And that's why I gave uh, full credit to uh, Philip Rosa, like the the guy. Uh, the, you know, he's, he's got he's got cerebral palsy. You guys you guys have seen him and stuff. I've talked about him before. I did a whole video, video like you know, giving him credit for Cosmic Compass because he seriously like you know sent me a list and was like, hey, play this, and I was like. Yeah, that's really good. <laughs> so, um, anyway, it's really good going second because you know you just get all these free uh, machine tokens. It's it's, it's incredible. Uh, but yeah, I did not think of that idea. I wish I did. Of all the of all the other things I've thought of for Cyber Dragons, including ABCs. I mean, people ask me all the time, like, have you tried ABC Cyber Dragons? Like, oh, have I tried ABC Cyber Dragons? I've tried everything in that deck, guys. <laughs> it's crazy. I have included some cards for you to keep if you want. Thank you. Uh, I have a question for you. Who exactly is? Eugene, I find his character very funny. Uh, he's, he's my twin brother. He's my twin brother. I'm sincerely a fan of PS. Do you have any other extra cyber dragons that are a higher rarity than common? Could you send me a spare? Uh, that's a good question. I have a lot of spare cyber dragons, but like, do I have any? Do I have any that fans didn't send me? Is the thing because uh, last week I even got another custom, you know, cyber dragon. Um, you know, someone scratched off, you know, the background of it, so it's just like all sparkly and secret. It looks really, really cool. Um, and people sent me, you know. Um, Evolution Burst uh, art, Cyber Dragons, I keep those around, those are really cool. People have sent me Cyber Dragon Field Centers, like I, I play those, like they're freaking awesome. <laughs> like, um, actually I don't play the Evolution Burst Cyber Dragons because I prefer, um, you know, my Cyber Dragons, but a fan made me some awesome, you know, alternate arts, uh, Evolution Burst uh, Cyber Dragons that I keep, um, you know, in a box with, you know, all kinds of other stuff that I keep from you guys, and it's just, they're, they're really, really awesome. Uh, but um, PS, uh, uh, like, so, so to answer your question, um, I don't think I do. I think that all the ones that I have spared that haven't been sent to me and that aren't in my actual Cyber Dragon deck. I think they're all common. I'm pretty sure. I think I have a DT one and I might have like a spare gold one or something like that, but like uh, somewhere. But once again, uh, you know, reorganizing and stuff, I don't know where anything is. Uh, like, I mean, I kind of do it. Like, it was organized chaos in here. Now it's like organized. Uh, I don't know, organized. PSS, I have included some cards for you to keep. If you could sign the Chimera text and send those back, that would be awesome. Um, absolutely. And then he says, for the Yu-Gi-Oh God, pay 800 every turn. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 
minutes. And so that would explain why he put turn over like right after who exactly is Eugene for the Yu-Gi-Oh God pay under every turn. I think that's what he was. I think that's what he was trying to get out there. That was like a message for Eugene. That's really funny. But um, so uh, whoa man. So an Athena. I actually have one of these secret Athenas somewhere. That's really cool. And then uh, Chimera Tech Fortress Dragons. Very very nice. I uh, wish you luck playing Cyber Dragons in the future, my man. I really do, especially with Cleaver Genius out. I'm gonna be. Um, I haven't had time to sit down yet because I've been doing this in here. But um, um, you know, and I've been sick and stuff in my nose. Like my nose is still. I, I'm probably sounding really nasally, but whatever. Um, like I'm, I'm, I'm trying to. I'm, I'm gonna be sitting down very, very soon. I'm gonna be sitting down very, very soon. And I'm gonna be retooling Cyber Dragons. It's gonna be, uh, you know, around Cleaver Genius and stuff. I don't know what I'm gonna come up with, but it's gonna be interesting. You know, it's gonna be interesting to see. You know, what I come up with after I sit down and retool the deck around it. But um, Celestial uh, Double Star Shaman. Hello, hello, and then another secret rare Athena. Very, very cool, dude. I will sign all these to get them back to you. Thank you so much for sending, and uh, I hope that you write again. Thank you so, so, so much once again. All right, this next one is from a Zach McDonough. <laughs> McDonough, I think that's I'm pronouncing that right, but from a Zach, either way. Let's see what this one says. All right, so we have some cards, lots of cards, a fat stack of cards. And then a letter, so let's see what this is. All right, dear Yugi, no, no, yes, yes, maybe, maybe, sometimes, sometimes, possibly, possibly. I, I am glad you loved all the all the cards I sent you. Funny enough, all of those cards I gave you were all cards in my uh, trade binder. Yeah, dude! I knew you could use the cards more than I since they would have just sat in my trade binder. Sadly, a lot of you guys' cards kind of kind of do the same. They kind of sit in, in, in binders or in boxes and stuff because I keep, I have a lot of sentimental value to a lot of stuff and I, you know, I keep it and then... And, uh, you know, some stuff, I mean, if, I, if, I, if someone sends me, like, you know, packs or something and I pull an Ash Blossom, you know, I sell it. But, like, for the most part, like, I keep I keep everything you guys send me. Um, I really, really do. Um, but um, a question for a deck I am currently working on. Um, it's Rockets. Uh, what do you think of using White Horn Dragon in the deck? I, 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 what does White Horn Dragon do? What do Rockets do? I actually haven't read Rockets at all. I've been really just paying attention to to the actual meta itself. You know, like, I've been paying attention to Spirals and Trick Stars. Uh, Spirals, Trick Stars, and Magicians for the most part. I haven't really been paying attention to other decks. I haven't read other decks. I'm really sorry. The only time I ever I ever read Rogue decks anymore, guys, and this is if I'm working on them or if I'm playing against them. <laughs> like to be honest. Anyway, like before, the cards in the sleeves are for you to keep. But a request, th thank you. But a request is uh, open the one with the silver sleeve last. Okay, so silver sleeve, open that last. I hope you enjoy these cards as you enjoyed my last set. You, you don't need to send anything, but I mean, but thank you so 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 much. You really don't have to send anything guys it's just it, but it is very very appreciated thank you so 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 much uh, ps the reaction on the brilliant fusions and trap tricks were priceless <laughs> Dude, that was insane. And you're damn right my reaction was priceless. You sent me two Reflasias. Like, not one, but two Reflasias. That card is, that card is ridiculously good. The Trap Tricks Reflasia, guys, um, not to go off on like a really long tangent here, but like, I have a, I have a theory about a Reflasia. I really feel like that, um, it's gonna be one of those rank fours that in the future is gonna be like, really sought after. Like, there's gonna be a deck that's gonna bust that card, you know what I mean? And play that card and everyone's gonna be like, you know, jumping right back on Reflasia and playing, you know, that one treacherous trap hole or whatever. People are gonna be you know all about that again in my I think that's gonna happen it's just a really good generic rank four like I mean I, there's there's gonna be another format I mean there's got to be another format where it's gonna be good I mean I mean it just it just makes sense but dude so you tune a Gemini elf tune mermaid did you send me a whole tune deck a uh, tune cyber dragon tune summon skull tune barrel dragon mega Rian, and a uh, blue eyes tune dragon in a tune world thank you so much that is sick dude tune cards and then the silver sleeve last so let's uh, put that face down and then uh, he said uh, oh shoot so let's see uh, gosh there's like a bunch of cards in this one okay so a uh, a fuselier dragon the dual mode beast a couple of those that's actually that's the one that you normal summon it yes and uh, yeah it's a level seven you can normal summon it but it's the attack is halved yeah it's one of those cards a machine duplication uh upstart goblin hey please said upstart goblins thank you that's awesome a uh, dim fisher a uh, malevolent catastrophe disturbance strategy summon limit chaos trap holes dude this is freaking sick eater of millions really Really good comment ghost ogres whoa dude dude <laughs> ghost ogres cosmic compass is very nice very cool Joel, whoa. 
Whoa, I've been needing those. Whoa, dude. Troll and Lockbirds. I've been looking for, like, to trade for these, man. I, oh, my gosh. This is awesome. Thank you so much. I've been needing these. Um, i actually been thinking about playing them in, uh, in Cyframes and stuff, and I've been actually um, um, trying to work on um, an Evil Swarm deck since we have the Link Monster now, you know, the new Link Monster. I've been really thinking about, uh, you know, because I kept my Evil Swarm core. I showed you guys. I don't know where it's at right now, but I showed you guys, uh, I don't know how many fan mail Mondays ago, you know, my Evil Swarm core for, like, a, at least a second on screen. And, uh, you know, that I've kept around. And I need uh, two more secret rabbits for it, you know, because you play three rabbits to, you know, get the two heliotropes out, you know. And uh, you, you, you guys can see where I'm going with that. Uh, but, like, um... I'm, I'm just working on kind of like this really hardcore anti-meta evil swarm deck and uh, I, I just really feel like Droll's really good in it and I feel like Droll's just kind of a better card than Mistake because Mistake, um, you know, relies on you. It's a trap card. You you have to go first in order for it to be like really, really good and the Droll and Lock, you don't care. If you lose the die roll, because, excuse me, I'm, I'm still not feeling like 100%, but um, if you, uh, you know, if you uh, lose the die roll, you could draw and lock. You don't care if you lose, uh, it, it, it's just, it's just really, really good. But, uh, oh, mystery card. What is this? Oh, dude, whoa. Boys, okay, this is not just any Exodia piece, okay? It's not first dead, but what I just realized, this is the right arm of the Forbidden One, L-O-B. L-O-B, right arm of the Forbidden One. That is way sick. Dude, thank you so much for the draw unlocks. Dude, now I only need one more. Dude, thank you so much. That is that is kick ass. That really, like, you don't even know. Like, I like it's like you read my mind because I was seriously just, like, re-looking at Evil Swarms and, like, trying to, you know, concoct some sort of anti-meta deck out of it and stuff and thinking of what I would play against, you know, what people were playing. And a draw unlock came up, and I'm like, I mean, you, you have to play draw unlock. It's just too good. And, you know, it's one of those cards that's really good. And I was thinking about playing Reaper in it, you know, and, like, uh, playing, uh, uh, you know, uh, main decking, uh, you know, double helix to, you know, Reaper out their uh, their double helix, uh, you know, against spiral and stuff like that. Just just uh, you know all kinds of stuff I've been thinking about for that deck, and it's like it's really like you read my mind. Um, thank you so much, dude. Thank you so so much for uh, for sending these. I really really appreciate it. I am I am really speechless, dude. And uh, I think you're you're like you're like Esperova right now. <laughs> you're like from the freaking show. It's like you knew what what I needed. It's like you're reading my mind. It's like you you knew. But dude, uh, thank you so so much for sending these again. I I'm absolutely speechless. Thank you so much. All right, guys. <laughs> We have one from our former Fan Mail Monday champion and a Fan Mail Monday champion contender. This is the guy that made up his own title of Fan Mail Monday champion, by the way. This is Anthony Kitt. <laughs> Fan Mail Monday champ is, is a thing that... Uh, that I didn't make up. Uh, this is something that this guy made up, and he's really cool though. He's, he's really really funny. But um, that's so cards. He always said cards in a letter. Yeah. So same as always, dude. Thank you so much. You're freaking amazing. Let's see what he has to say this week. All right. So uh, backside. So that's the backside. Front side. Dear Yugi, Yugi Jojo. Hi, me again. I want to start off by saying I'm a little uh, under the weather today, dude. So am I. <laughs> I am. Uh, I am currently uh, writing uh, this on Monday and the 22nd. So that's not too far off it's nothing major i just have a bad cough so i was it's must there's got to be something going around because like the other day i felt like complete garbage you know what i mean and i had to leave my sneak peek and then today i feel almost 100 percent it's like it's, it's something something weird's going around guys i don't know what it is but uh, so i was wondering if you could uh, make me feel better by blessing my pools that i'm about to get you are blessed my child anyways my life lately overall has been pretty boring i'm just waiting for the R royal rumble this sunday uh by the by the time you're reading this the, uh, that has already happened so uh so it happened yesterday uh so uh lee, so um so uh, hold on lee's lee's hope it's a, so uh, so leah's hope it's at least a decent show this year so let's oh so let's hope it's at least a decent show this year oh, okay okay so uh but without further ado let's skip to your favorite part of the letter here we go so of uh, uh number one question number one dragon ball super is going to end in march um, at, at episode 131 so they could focus on the movie that's coming out in December. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, but they have uh, stated that Dragon Ball will return in 2019. So we watch Dragon Ball Super now or just wait till the whole series is dubbed? That's a really good question. Um, uh, that is a really good question. Like, I've, I've, I've made it thus far without watching Super, so it makes me want to, like, keep not watching Super just because, um... You know, I made it this far, and I kind of like the mar like I like the marathon all of it and just watch it all at the same time. I don't, I don't know. I might get currents on Super and uh, and wait for the just kind of wait out the break. But then again, though, like breaks are really, really gay. Like <laughs> they 
suck. Like, well, I, I hate waiting on a show. But um, uh, episode, we're spoiled these days with Netflix and stuff, guys. Let me tell you. Um, episode, uh, question number two, though. Question number two. Um, I'm going to skip this uh, since the last uh, question was so long. Okay. <laughs> Question number three: uh, How was your uh, How was your week last week? Um, besides uh, uploading up, oh, so like, um, the week uh, last week um was really really good. Um, I wasn't. I would I would say I wasn't as happy with my videos as I have been like the previous weeks. Um, but I'm coming back. Uh, but then again, I got really busy with stuff last week, and there wasn't as many videos and stuff. If you guys saw, if you guys noticed, there wasn't as many. Um, and that's gonna be reversed hopefully this week and stuff. And you know, as I get better, and it's, it's, just, it's gonna be fine. Uh, like, I'm not worried about it, but yeah, I mean, other other than, like, you know, it being just kind of a weird week, it was, it was just kind of a normal week. Um, how was your week? But, uh, uh, question number four, on uh, Patreon, can you properly show us how to dick slap the like button? <laughs> I don't know, like, how, how do I, how do I, how do I show how to dick slap the like button and not have it be, like, inappropriate or illegal or something? <laughs> I don't, I don't really know how to show it, uh, but if I get, I don't know, a hundred, a hundred patrons on Patreon, um, or like, or two hundred patrons on, two hundred, let's make it two hundred, you guys could probably beat a hundred, like, really quick, so let's make it two hundred, if you guys do two hundred patrons on Patreon, uh, yeah, I will, I will somehow, some way, show how to properly dick slap the like button, I suppose, <laughs> I suppose, but, uh, backside, so here are some cards for you to keep, as always, thank you so much, uh, stay awesome, and I'll see you next week, assign Anthony Cantos, P.S., I just noticed I haven't mentioned Cherry Beans Man, Cherry Beans Man, okay, I just noticed I haven't mentioned Jerry Beans Man once in this whole letter, so it, here, here it is, Jerry Beans Man 2018, uh, P.P.S., Jerry, Be Jerry is looking forward to meeting you, Weak weak PP I'm scared. P P P S. I love seeing you try to pronounce the first card I gave you. Okay, so let's see what card he's talking about. Let's see if I can't pronounce it. They're all packed in here pretty tight. Um, and it's the Rocket Dragon. How do you how do you pronounce these? Okay, and it's the Rocket, right? And it's and that's the rocket. My old turkey. My old turkey. Magical musket, steady hands. Very cool. Oh, skipped one. Uh, creeping darkness. That is a really cool looking card. I have to say, it's one of my favorite card arts out there. Believe it or not, as far as uh, you know, when it comes to dark Yu-Gi-Oh card, Yu -Oh cards, I feel like I say a lot of things are my favorite. And I've never really sat down and really thought about which ones are my favorite. But uh, number seventy-seven, the seven cents, and shining hope wrote, dude. Thank you so much for sending. Thank you so much for your mail, as always. Uh, but I hate to do this to you. But next up, we have your. Your, your fan mail rival, but once again, you kind of did this to yourself making up the title. <laughs> but but um, we have your rival up next. We're going to be doing a Chris Bushka's mail. So we have two more things, guys, and we are done for the day, but they are both from Chris Bushka. So let's see what he has to say this week. All right, that's everything out of that. Let's see what this says. Let's see what my instructions are. Oh, hey, an open pack at that. Hey, hey, uh, uh, hey, no, no, your comments a couple weeks ago inspired me. I am thinking I might start a business where I make custom deck boxes and Yu-Gi-Oh tokens do it uh, here is a small sampler of the kind of tokens I make I I have in here uh, K, uh, chaos counters spell counters uh, shine counters level ma markers pumpkin counters and balloon counters also I have included uh, included a pack of uh, dra drag draggy Della Leg legenda oh oh we say oh it's so it's like Spanish dragons of legend oh that's really really funny straight from straight from it oh it's Italian so draggy Della legenda straight from Italy okay let's see this is how much I know other languages but I was wondering if you could open them with your Yugi Jesus powers and sign them and send them back absolutely your fan Chris Bushka well um let's see well, let's see your tokens and stuff I mean I don't know if you're going to be able to start a business you know making them out of cardboard but it is a really cool idea to make the tokens because like uh, the, the counters I mean not the to uh, you know you know what I'm talking about uh, to make I don't think you're going to be able to get away with them uh, being honest to make making them out of cardboard like this but like um this is a really good idea because there seriously isn't anything like this like any nice uh, counters out there that, that look like these uh you know that look like you know uh, things from Yu-Gi-Oh. at least i don't think that there is or i don't think that there are i i, I could be wrong i could be wrong uh, once again guys i don't keep up with every single thing in Yu-Gi-Oh. i really try to but you know i don't keep up with every single last thing um i'm not that dorky but, but let's see let's see uh, what cards uh, you send uh, let's see what cards i pull from this to send back to you i should say um so princess but hey dude that's really cool so the, for the for the first one uh i don't know what these could have i don't know that's an i, I know that that's an Aqua Actress card. I know that's a Red Eyes card. Uh, these are all Red Eyes cards, pretty much. But, dude, so that those are your pools. I will absolutely sign these and get them back to you. Um, I really hope that you your idea does take off. I hope that these are kind of just, like, prototypes. But um, if you can, like, um, you know, figure out um, how to make these out of uh, ceramic or... Um, 
um, you know, plastic or something like that. Get a company to, you know, mass produce like whatever designs you put on there and like sell them, you know, then mark them up and sell them. You know, I think you're, you can absolutely start your own company and there's there's nothing stopping you at all. All right, this last thing though, I'm gonna open it a little bit off camera because there's actually an address on both sides of this. So here, I'm just gonna kind of snip it. I'm cheating with scissors, I know I'm cheating with scissors, okay? But I found these scissors and I'm gonna use them, <laughs> okay? But um, let's see, uh, let's see what we got here. So uh, Matt, hey, so we have uh, one of the wave of light, dude. Yeah, yo, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We met, we we talked on Facebook. So I told him, I, I, he, well, he watched me get the wave of light structured X, and he was like, oh, dude, I sent you like wave of light. Um, you know, he had sent me like before he saw me like open it. So, anyways, anyways, so, you know, cause like collect the structured X maps. Ooh, dude, that's pretty sweet. He took my custom mat and put. Oh, dude, he put like the design on here. That's really, really cool. If you could figure out, instead of like, you know, using your, you know, whatever, I don't know what adhesive you're using. Your adhesive looks fine. You know what I mean? Like, like it looks fine, but like, uh, I, that's really cool like you know because you keep it black and everything but if you could figure out how, a way to like make it more sh like to cover the entire box up you know instead of having like you know this and then like black on the sides if you know, there was like a way to cover up this entire thing and have it like split like the design split I think that would be like way I'm just kind of trying to you know give you some like the tips here just like noticing but like just for me though this is awesome like <laughs> you know what I mean like I think it's cool like anything you guys make me I think is awesome but um you know and I like and stuff but um for, for trying to like sell stuff I think that you kind of have to like uh, you know do the, do like full box designs if that makes sense I think that would that would like really really good to help you a lot um, I hope that helps I hope that's good that, that's you know really good uh, constructive uh, criticism for you I th hope that really really helps but um so oh starter deck man I think this one I already have too though yeah I do uh, the starter deck you yeah this one's really cool but thank you so much dude thank you so much for being like so courteous and like keeping up with with my collection and stuff it's really 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 appreciate Hey, I, hey, no, no, keep being the, yeah, yeah, keep me the collection up to date, keep up the awesome work. <laughs> yeah, dude, we, 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 see, me, me and Chris, we actually talk on Facebook and stuff, and, uh, we actually, um, we have something in the works, um, you know, together and stuff. It's gonna be a big surprise if we, if we manage to pull it off. He knows what I'm talking about. Uh, you guys don't know what I'm talking about. He knows what I'm talking about, but when we pull it off, you guys, you, you, it's gonna be really, really cool. Uh, but, dude, thank you so much for sending. I hope that, um, you know, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to, you know, like, help you and stuff, because there's no reason why you can't start your own business or any of you guys there's no reason why uh, any of you can't uh, start your own business if you have the drive you have the motivation um, and, you, and you have like you know the heart to do it and you have your mind set on something you can accomplish anything you can accomplish anything guys I didn't think like right here I didn't think that my hobby I didn't think that I would be doing this you know for for you know any sort of financial gain whatsoever I thought that this was gonna be just my hobby forever Absolutely, and I did, and I treated this like a hobby, and I always treated this like a hobby for a very, very long time, and then all of a sudden, I'm, I'm like, I'm huge on, I'm, I'm huge in the Yu-Gi-Oh community, like, and guys, I'm not trying to toot my own horn or, or anything like that at all, because I wouldn't be, you know, anything, or, or I wouldn't be anywhere without you guys whatsoever. What I'm saying though is that if you keep trying and working at something, it will pay off. Hard work does pay off, guys, and um, if you believe and you and you try, and if you want to do something in the community and make, you know, some some sort of business and uh, and uh, give back to the community that way, uh, I think that you can absolutely do it, and I wish all of you luck uh, but that is going to uh, wrap up like with that that is going to wrap up this fan mail video thank you all so much for sending again I'm so I'm so blown away every single week just week after week all the cool stuff I get you guys you guys support and your and your your just your love and support is just is everything to me it means so much to me and I, I seriously wouldn't be anywhere without you guys thank you all so much and um, until next week guys until next week be sure to dick slap that like button and subscribe thank you all so much again Subscribe! <laughs>